Beethoven, the most famous dog in cinema who had a sad ending. Who didn't fall in love with this little dog? Beethoven, the movie dog, ended up alone and abandoned in a forest. The story of Beethoven, the iconic Saint Bernard who captivated hearts on the big screen, has both glorious and tragic elements. Today, we are going to share not only the moments of joy and fame of this faithful companion of humanity, but also his heartbreaking ending. We have investigated and know about Beethoven's rise and fall, whose real name was Chris, but whom the world knew and loved as the beloved Beethoven from the movies. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events! Thank you! His first foray into the big screen in 1992 marked the beginning of a legend. Through six sequels, his charming presence became an emblem for many, but few know the dark truth that haunted him until his last breath. Beethoven's success transcended borders and generations. However, behind the bright lights of Hollywood and the deafening applause lay a bitter and heartbreaking reality. In 2011, at just 10 years old, Beethoven met a heartbreaking end, abandoned and condemned to a cruel fate in the midst of nature. He died at the age of 10, abandoned by his guardian and died in terrible conditions. It was on April 24, 2011 when the owner and probably manager of this dog decided not to have him anymore and left him tied up, alone, and in the bushes. According to the testimony of the same woman, she wanted him to be found and rescued, similar to the movie, but the dog only suffered after spending so much time alone. Unfortunately, Chris died on June 19, 2011. Discovered by a shelter volunteer who was shocked to see a very large dog, abandoned and with terrible marks, as he was exposed to all kinds of animals, environments, and hunger. How could it be that Beethoven ended up like this? Imagine this scene, a normal day on a forest road, a woman encounters an imposing figure, a solitary dog marked by the scars of suffering. The police arrived at the scene, investigated, and soon discovered the heartbreaking plan, his guardian had deliberately left him there, hoping someone would find him, like a macabre replica of the rescue scenes from his movies. This was the sad fate of a friend of humanity, a companion who had touched the hearts of so many. Beethoven, the hero of the big screen, had been abandoned in his darkest hour. Dear Chris, forever remembered as Beethoven, your legacy lives on in our hearts. Your story reminds us of the importance of caring for and protecting those who have given us so much love and joy. But it also calls us to action, to be better guardians of those who depend on us, so that no other innocent soul has such a tragic ending as yours. So hence the story of Beethoven, a cinema icon whose life teaches us so much about the greatness and fragility of fame and love. It's sad to know that Chris, the dog who brought Beethoven to life, had such a lonely and unfortunate ending. His fame and success in the movies contrast with the abandonment and suffering he endured in his later years. It's outrageous that his guardian abandoned him in that way, without caring about the welfare of an animal that had given her so much. Her action is an act of cruelty and lack of empathy. Beethoven's story teaches us that fame is not always synonymous with happiness. Even those who bring us joy and entertainment can suffer in silence. It's important to remember that animals are sensitive beings who deserve our respect and care. We must learn from this sad story and fight for animal welfare. We cannot allow cases like Beethoven's to be repeated. Reflection, the story of Beethoven, the famous movie dog, reveals both his rise to fame and his tragic ending. Known for his mischievous movies, Beethoven was abandoned and found in heartbreaking conditions in the middle of the forest. His story urges us to reflect on the fragility of fame, responsibility towards animals, and the need for empathy and compassion in our actions. Beethoven reminds us of the importance of caring for those who depend on us and being ethical consumers in a society that often values success over the well-being of others. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you.